Hey, Sean Jantz here, and I am currently inside of a live uh, in the money hourly binary trade here on dollar yen. So I'm short the blue line, which is 108.62, and I can show you that trade. So you can see I'm short 108.62. I have a lot of time, an hour and 50 minutes. I have a TP order sitting there at nine. But uh, what I want to do is I want to take you through the BTG four-step trading process because this is going to be a textbook four-step trading process trade and also how you can use BTG charts to always know where the highest probability entries are going to be. And so let's first start here. And if you're not a member, uh, a lot of this may not make, make sense, but hopefully as you're watching this, you're going to be, get, get excited to get inside that BTG training center and learn all of this. And so step number one, bird's eye view content. It's very simply just using some uh, free indicators and looking at a four hour or one hour chart. We're just asking ourselves, is price overbought to oversold our equilibrium? This is a very important statement. It says, since all the market does is cycle, we want to be buying into weakness and selling into strength. And so you can see, just using some free indicators here on the bird's eye view four hour chart, we are overbought relative to past price, and we're definitely severely overbought up here on the price right here, right? So I know I want to be looking for what? Since all the market does is cycle, you can see that visually, that's all the market does. Uh, I know I want to be looking for weakness, right? Now, step number one, you can't just buy and sell every single overbought, oversold chart you see. Okay, I wish it was that simple, but it's not because something that is overbought can definitely continue to stay overbought and something that's oversold definitely continue to just keep tanking on you. So the key is step number two. It says bird's eye view context or what, what I like to call market edges. After you made the decision that you want to be a seller, now ask yourself, is there proven supply in the past where you want to sell? So if bears have the bears shown that they see value before in the past exactly where you're selling. And in this case, yes, they have. Roughly about two weeks ago, we got value right there, value right there, and then now we're right back here at range high. So I'm selling at a beautiful, beautiful range high. We have a massive acceleration of volume right there as well. See that just tank job? And guess where that tank job started? Exactly where I'm selling, right? So there's very obvious supply to the in the past. That still doesn't mean it's 100% trade, but by staying patient and, and selling and or buying, so if you're selling in supply or buying in demand, what that does is that it helps increase the probability of success, which is our entire goal on every single trade, right? And it also says, here's, here's why having BTG charts is so important. It says, what other context is in your favor? giving you confidence that you want to sell. Examples include deviations, value area, structure, trend lines, fibs, big round numbers, gaps, right? Your entire job is a trader, right? So literally speaking, anytime you buy or sell the market, you got a 50-50 shot that price is going to go your way. Well, your job is to find edges in the market that you feel like is going to give you uh, a greater than 50-50. Like you're, you're trying to find anything that you can do and, you know, and when you take Michael Perigo's Forex Mastery, you can start doing some, some pretty crazy trend lines and fibs. In this case, I'm using a BTG deviation. Check this out. We are right at that BTG plus one and a half. So we have really extended, severely overbought BTG plus one and a half. My strike, check out my strike. This is how cool this is. All I have to do to make money is stay below the blue line. That's all I have to do. It's almost like it's 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 crazy simple nothing's easy but that's just nuts to think about i don't care where this chart goes it doesn't have to go anywhere all i have to do is stay below the blue line based off of everything i just showed i feel like we're going to do that okay now step number 3 really helps you hone in on entry timing and helps you dramatically dramatically lower risk and increase the reward and so if we go to it, what it says here is, right, uh, move to the one or the five minute chart we want to be uh, for selling, we want to be selling at sideways change control, right? We want to make sure that because obviously these bulls are severely strong. So we don't want to just be selling a freight train. We want to make sure that we're seeing uh, change control, right? Which you'll learn all about that in the course. And so you can see uh, very obvious higher highs, higher highs, higher highs, higher highs, higher highs, higher highs, higher highs. Um, higher highs, higher highs. And starting about eight o'clock, you can clearly see we have started to go sideways, right? And so I just waited for this to come right back up into this range high. I sold the blue line right now. Be, it's gone a little higher since I've entered, but this one, you'll notice how, this is why it's so cool to have BTG charts, is that I, I'm using uh, that 
plus one and a half, as basically I like to call it kind of corny, but a soldier, right? Because all I got to do is stay below the blue line to make money. That's all. So I'm using this right here to help me like plus one and a half saying, hey, smack this back down, right? So that's why I always want to be using deviations to help aid in, in, in my in the money trades. Now, step number four, this is important, okay? Take profits. You get the move, take the damn green, right? And so I'm going to actually use a quarter deviation move, right? So a quarter deviation is roughly 12 points. So 57 minus 12 will put me right about here, 108.45. So I'm going to move that to right there. That's right there, a quarter deviation move. And I'm going to make that green for money. So whatever happens first, I, uh, you saw that I had that TP order in. And so whether... Uh, if that TP order gets filled, or we come right here, I'm just going to bank the green and move on. It's Friday. Uh, just get the move. Sideways change control. There's a lot of elements here. A lot of elements put into play. And recap. Step number one, bird's eye views over bot. Step number two, nice supply range to the left. Step number two, BTG plus one and a half deviation. Step number three, we're starting to go sideways, change control, and then get the, uh, get the move, and then take the damn green and run right? So we'll pause this. We got lots of time, hour and 40 minutes to see if I can't get this to cycle right here. Since I'm in the money, I will use a mental stop. So if this starts breaking above 62 and then 62 starts holding a support, right? So right now this chart is this, this trade is what you would call in the money, meaning all I got to do to profit is stay below 62. Well, if this chart starts busting above 62, okay, then that's, this trade is now definitely completely the bias has completely changed so then i need to start looking to exit right for a loss so we'll pause we'll come back we got an hour and 40 minutes and we'll recap this quick update here tp order just got filled there nine super super simple trade let's go back to this this was pretty awesome and so you can see uh if you remember my entry uh let's see entry was right there at 1002 right as we started to get up into the btg one and a half this chart basically just built sideways change control, change control, and the bears finally took back charge. Now, where's all this weakness coming from? It's coming because we're severely overbought in the bird's eye view, and we're at a really large supply zone, uh, you know, roughly, a, well, if we go back, it's like a two-month, one-month, um, yeah, over a one to two months worth of supply. Well, actually, sorry, I was using this one. And so it's basically a month of, of really good supply. BTG plus one and a half. So many elements were in this in this in this um, trade. And I went in the money just to give myself a little room. Obviously, I I, I did. It was kind of nice. I mean, my strike literally held to the exact tick. And but I could have went at the money. That would have worked. You could have done out of the money. That would have worked. You can do whatever you want to do. Usually in these videos, we never. We don't tell you what risk reward to pick. That's totally up to you. We all have different risk tolerances. We all have different amounts of capital. I like sometimes, right? I like doing them all. Uh, I like these in the monies just because it gives me room to be wrong. And it gives me, basically, I didn't need price to go any. All I needed to do is stay below the blue line. Super simple, right? But you got to have these charts, right? If you don't have these charts, I would have not, you wouldn't have known that this was the BTG plus one and a half. Right, and you got to combine all of those elements in in terms of structure, supply, uh, content, context, change control. Get the move and bank green. It's all there for you. This process right here, it's all there. You'll learn exactly how to do all of this inside the training center. Forty five plus videos. Reach out to me or Ryan Smith if you have any questions. You can go to btgcourses.com, and on the bottom right there, you'll see a chat box. And if you and we're on we're online all day long. So if you have any questions, feel free to reach out.